All right, so this toilet, um, this thing, it just kept leaking water. Um, it was making like really loud squeaking noises. It was filling really slow. Um, we're actually probably gonna end up having a really, really huge water bill because for some reason, it started filling over and just overfilling and just kept going forever. Anyways, first thing you wanna do is turn off the water here. So I already turned this off. If you can't twist this, if for some reason, you wanna twist it that direction. If you twist it backwards, um, so counterclockwise, then it will open. If you twist it clockwise, it closes. So we closed it, all right. If you can't close it, you can use some pliers. I use some pliers that grabbed here and then I can use the handle of the pliers for better leverage. Or you can just find something that's long that can kind of help leverage that, okay? Anyways, once you close the water completely, you're gonna wanna flush the toilet. I didn't wanna waste water, so I actually used the toilet beforehand. I closed it because I don't want you to see what's in the toilet bowl. Anyways, we're gonna flush the toilet. That's how the toilet flush works. Basically, it opens this. I'm gonna leave it open to let all the water drain out. Okay, it shouldn't be filling anymore, but you can see the tank has water in it. Oh, actually, I wonder if that means I can keep, I can use the toilet a couple times with one flush because it looks like after you flush once, there's still water in here. Um, as you saw before, the water was all the way up here. Um, anyways, I'm gonna let it I'm, I guess I'll wait until I use the toilet again. We'll flush it one more time. Um, or maybe flush, yeah, flush it once and then hold the thing up to let it drain. Um, but yeah, and then we'll continue the video then. You can see this ball sink down. The replacement one that we have is like all in one piece like this. So this is the floating thing here and it goes up and down. And then it has all these other pieces here. So we'll install this later. Um, I think it was pretty cheap. I forgot how much. I'll have to check later. But um, yeah, I'll update you guys once we get started with filling this up. We'll go over the instructions and everything. All right, see you guys then. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, when I actually turn the lights on, um, it's going to be noisy because the fan goes on at the same time with the light for this bathroom. But anyways, here you can see it is the Fluid Master Performax Universal Toilet Fill Valve. Okay, so yeah, the toilet kept filling nonstop, and our city actually sent us, or the water company sent us a thing telling us that it detected that the water was just running. So, right, apparently they have a video and then a quick install guide, and they also have a phone number for assistance. You can see, I'm going to show all the box if you want. You can just fast forward over this part if you don't really care for it. Um, but sometimes there's important stuff here, so I like to kind of look through everything. Okay, you can adjust the height and everything like that. <clears throat> okay, the box was like crushed when it was shipped to me, so hopefully it's not going to be broken or anything. Here you can see you can adjust the height. Okay, you can adjust for more bowl water um, and for a more powerful flush. Okay, and you can always get the exact, uh, always get the perfect flush. So you can actually adjust if you wanna use less water. And then you can see you can have less flush power, or you can have more flush power, um, depending what you want. Um, but then it will use more water. I don't know what GPF stands for. Get perfect flush, is that what it means? <laughs> I don't know. All right, so you can see you can have it fill this more but then have the tower, I guess, filled a little bit less. Anyways, blue is the new black, universal solution. All right, this equals this plus more. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and open this and see the instructions. This is what it looks like. You have this little fill valve thingy. Okay, I got this. Hopefully it's not damaged from shipping. But, uh, okay, let's dump this stuff out. Okay, looks like you got this. Um, I'm guessing this is to screw on the bottom here. Okay. And then you got this to clip the toilet fill valve thingy. Okay, so again, you can fast forward over this if you don't want to watch it. There's also a how-to video on their 
on there somewhere. I don't know. On their website. But a lot of times it's, I don't know, sometimes their instructions aren't the same because it's not like real time and they cut stuff out. But here you can see you'll need a bucket, a sponge, towel, scissors. Okay, and here's the refill clip and stuff. And yeah, that's the lock nut. Here's the top down view. Okay, again, you can fast forward over all of this. I put it in my video just in case it's needed in the future. All right, so first thing you want to do, turn off the water. We already did that. Okay, all right, then you want to drain the water, flush the toilet to drain most of the water from the tank. Okay, and then you use a sponge or towel to soak up the excess water in the tank. I'm actually going to use one of those aquarium uh, siphon thingies. You can use a like tube to siphon out the water. Um, and I'll be doing that in a bit. So here you go. Remove the old um, fill valve. So they show you how to remove the water supply from it from the bottom. You just unscrew it and then you remove the old lock nut. So I'll be showing all of this when I do it and then remove the old fill valve including the refill tube and the refill clip and the sh and shank washer. Drain any excess water into bucket by removing fill valve from tank. Pull fill valve up. All right, so you'll see. I'll show you how I um, drain it. Anyways, you can twist the valve to adjust the height. So you actually want it to be um, about three inches above the top of the overflow pipe. So there's a pipe in there um, that I showed where it was kind of water was just running over it and it just kept going. So it says three inches. So um, if you increase the height, you can put more water in the tank. So it allows you to have a more powerful flush, all right? And it tells you to hold the top thing there, not to move the lock ring, and then twist left. Here you go, there's the lever hole. Here's the fill valve. This is the top of the overflow pipe they show in the picture. And yeah, that's what it looks like, okay? Top overflow pipe must be a minimum of one inch below the tank lever hole, okay? So yeah, I don't know, we can't adjust the overfill uh, pipe so I don't know how they would adjust that but there you go uh, install the new fill valve attach the refill clip to the other end of the refill tube insert fill valve position refill tube face flush valve making sure the fill valve parts do not interfere with the lever arm okay attach refill clip to the overflow pipe install the lock nut um, screw it on counterclockwise onto the fill valve uh, hand tighten only, don't over tighten it. Okay, so this is all hand tightened. And then attach the water supply connector, right? Then turn the water on, check for leaks. Uh, then also check the water fill level, right? Make sure it's stopping at the right level. So after the tank stops filling water, the level should fill the tank to roughly half an inch below the top of the overflow pipe to ensure proper flush. All right, does not need to be exact. Okay, so our old one, for some reason, was going into the overflow pipe and it just kept filling and filling and filling. But here you go, over tightening may damage the valve. Okay, uh, or the coupling nut potentially causing flooding. Make sure the float cup does not touch the tank walls or the tank lever and flush valve. All right, top of the overflow pipe must be a minimum of one inch below the tank lever hole. Well, not like we can change where the flushing thingy is, so I don't know why that's there, but okay. Ow. Okay, then they got information here to fine tune the tank water level. So flush the toilet to check the tank water level. After the water stops filling the tank, the water level should be roughly half an inch below the top of the overflow pipe to ensure um, a proper flush. Water level, if the water level is too low, Turn the tank water level adjustment screw clockwise to raise the float. Uh, flush to reset the water level, all right? If the water level is too high, turn the water level adjustment screw counterclockwise to lower the float. Flush to reset the water level. There you go, fine tune the bowl water level. So um, they have this, that it's preset to fill to the proper bowl water level in most toilets uh, straight out of the box. I might have twisted it so it's not in the same position but uh we'll see here they show what it looks like so basically what you do is you fill the bowl with a gallon of water wait a minute until the bowl water level goes down and stops and then mark the level in the bowl so what i did was i held the flusher 
thing down so it filled as much as possible and then the water went back down to like the proper level so I'll show you what that is in a bit but anyways flush the toilet to check the bowl water level and if it matches the line then you've made um, then you got it set up right all right anyways so if it fills above that level it'll just waste water so you don't want to do that and then you can see if the if the valve shuts off and water level does not match the line of the bowl the water level is too low and then you can go to step 7d to adjust it so you can see if it's too high turn the dial towards the closed position to lower it <clears throat> if it's too low turn it to the open position and then flush to check it again and just keep doing it until you get the water level right and that's pretty much it so setup sounds super super easy they got troubleshooting steps here I'll let you I'll go slow and let you look at this um, the thing I'm worried is the first time you um, do this usually when you close the water line and then reopen it debris comes out so you'll want to um, drain that so here you can see it says to uh, if it gets messed up you can turn off the water and then flush the toilet and then um, with the right hand to push the float up grip and hold the shaft under the float with the left hand twist the cap and lever arm counterclockwise to unlock let the cap hang on the float cap hold the uh, empty cup upside down over the uncapped valve to prevent splashing turn the water supply on and off a few times um, basically that will get the debris out okay I'm probably going to use a bucket to do that um, at first, but a lot of times um, since the valve is old and it's not been moved for a while, it's going to get a lot of debris out. All right, so I'm probably, we'll see if I can get it in the bucket, <clears throat> but the bucket might be too tall. Anyways, you can see how to re uh, replace the fill valve seal. All right, and if you can see if the water level is too low and if the flap isn't closing properly or something or it's closing too quick okay so they have all these troubleshooting things if you're having problems you can read through this if um oh let's see go oh, they got different ways so some toilets don't use that refill um clip Push the refill tube into refill hole at the top of the flush valve cap. And for other models, they got this and this one. Okay. And I think that's pretty much it. What's on these last few pages? Okay, in other language. So that's it. Let's go ahead and install this. Again, I'm going to drain the water out first. We'll see if I can do this without turning the light on so that way you don't have to listen to the fan sound but uh let's go ahead and see all right so first thing i did is i marked on the bowl you can see that yellow line i waited till the water went down and then i marked the yellow there the reason i marked yellow is because it's harder to see and if it doesn't clean off then we'll be okay um, but uh, yeah it should clean off fine with uh isopropyl alcohol or something but um yeah anyways Let's go ahead and close this for now. We're gonna take a look inside. You'll see there's still some water in there. So I'm gonna use the aquarium siphon thing to get the water out. Um, I have a bucket here, okay? So the bucket has to be lower than the tank, obviously, to siphon. So we'll go here. There's too much stuff in here, even though we took a whole bunch of stuff out. I don't know why we have a toilet brush in here that's in a bag never used or something all right anyways here we go got the toilet i'm going to use this siphon thing so the siphon has this and it has the pump that pulls the water out i'm just going to put it at the lowest point possible and we'll see if we can pull a siphon here uh-oh might not be able to come on come on you're almost there Huh, why is it not able to pull a siphon? I should have left more water in the bowl. <laughs> oh, nope. Come on. Come on. The water.
water's too low now to pull a siphon. Okay, there we go. Alright. So we're going to siphon out as much water as possible. I guess we're just about done. Okay. Alright, so that's pretty much done. Um, there's still water in this tube thing, so I can run the pump manually. As you can see, we can't really get all of it out. So we are going to have some water flushing out through there. Uh, but we got out as much as we could, so should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna get like a smaller bucket maybe or a towel here just to catch the rest of the water and then we're gonna go ahead and remove the thing. The problem is it's very cramped in there for what I'm gonna have to do. So we'll see. I'll see if I can hopefully get you guys in there so you can see what's going on. Let's lower this down. Let's tilt this here. Okay. So you can see, yeah, that's not going to work too well. Let me take this off. Let me see. If it's hand tightened, maybe I can do it by hand. So here's the water fill valve. Oh, yeah, okay. So we're going to undo this, and it's probably going to leak a bunch of water. So let me get a towel real quick, and I'll be back. All right, so it's already leaking, so we'll put that towel there, and we'll take this out. Bucket might be a better option, but it's pretty cramped in here, so we're just going to use a towel. Okay, so we'll get this out. And then, uh-oh, look at that dirty water that's coming out. Okay, so the rest of the water drained out of the bowl. Um, I think I probably should get a bucket or something and flush this out. So I'm going to turn the water on and off a few times. But let's go ahead and remove this. It should be hand tightened, hopefully. So let's see if I can remove it by hand. Maybe not while holding the camera. So I'm going to undo this a little bit and then I'll be back. If it can't come out by hand, I'm going to have to use the pliers. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, so I did have to use the pliers to start it. It was really tight. But here you can see now we can just unscrew this. Okay. No problem screw this all the way and then we'll have to see what we have to remove from inside there okay there we go got that out let's go ahead and look inside and let's see all right so I think we got to remove this so we got the tube here I don't know if we need the clip because it has this already there so I guess this slides off okay we could probably use the tube or the clip if you want but uh since this comes off i guess we'll take the whole thing off let me push this back on here so i can keep that together though so we're probably just going to throw it away all right more water is probably going to leak out we're going to wiggle this and pull it up yep lots more water coming out and here we go we got the old thing out pretty simple toss that over there okay Got more water dripping out here. Again, you can use a bucket, probably be a bit cleaner or easier. But uh, again, this is pretty cramped in here. So I decided to just do that. All right, so let me see, am I gonna be able to, I'll put this back on the tripod here and show you guys again. Let's move the camera up again. Okay, tilt this down. All right, so here's the replacement one. Okay, um, I don't know if it has to go a specific direction. We got the clip. We're gonna take that out. Okay, and the little screw thing right there. Okay, so this just attaches to this piece. You just push it on. Okay, just get it on there. 
kind of have to wiggle it. It's a little bit tough to get this on, actually. But, uh, just shove it on. Okay, you might have to kind of wiggle it. Get it all the way until it goes to the flat part here. Okay, there we go. Alright, so... This clip... Is my arm going to be in the way? Probably. Okay, this clip would go here. Onto this tube. Come on. Like that. Okay. So it's right in there. And then this will go into the hole there, down there. You can see this is kind of in the way. So if this is too long, it does say you can go ahead and cut it. No big deal. But uh, you can kind of also rotate it around like that and get it to fit better. Okay. So there we go. We got that in. Make sure it's not touching the handle here. Okay. And make sure this thing can move freely without touching anything. Very, very easy to install. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to accidentally shut off the camera. Alright, anyways, we got this piece now. We're gonna screw that on the bottom here. Okay. The water's still leaking out from the um, tank, so we gotta tighten this, and that should seal it off. If you're wondering why my hand is or my fingers like that, I was um, gluing together a pipe that was not fitting exactly. All right, anyways, finger tighten this, okay? So thumb there and tighten like that. You can see the water already stopped dripping. Okay, all right, it's already pretty tight. I think we should be good. You can see the seal down there. The water in here is pretty gross. But uh, not really much we can do about that. Sorry, I'm tightening it a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to get a bucket real quick and drain this out a few times. Oops, I shouldn't have turned the light on. Sorry, hopefully you guys were able to hear me that whole time. I'm going to get a bucket. I'm going to drain this a few times and see because most likely the water is going to be pretty dirty. And if you just have it pumped through here, it's probably going to clog it. So let me do that and I'll be back. Let me get like a big ice cream bucket or something. Alright, so I'm back with the bucket. There's already gross stuff in it because this is the bucket I was using to change all the sinks earlier. Um, I think this camera is going to be in my way, so I don't know. I don't think I can record this. Uh, let me see, unless I kind of like tilt it over here, maybe? Can I, can I do that? I don't know if that'll work. Let's see. Uh, kind of. Okay. It's probably in my way, but we'll we'll see. All right, so we'll get that in there, and we'll just turn the water on. Oops. Yep. Pretty much that's in my way. It's not, I don't think I'm gonna be able to support this. I mean, you guys get the idea, right? Just turn the water on. The camera's in my way. I can't do it this way. Let me see if I put it up up here. I mean, you can see the bucket, but. Okay, I guess you'll see how if the water is dirty or not. We're going to open this up. Actually, the water's coming out pretty clean here. So I think we should be okay. All right, I'm going to turn this off. Okay. So that was basically running nonstop when it was broken. All right. So let me take you guys off the tripod and I'm just going to hold it now. Everything here is hand tightened, so that makes it nice. Actually, let me uh, restart the camera so I can flip it upside down. Okay, so here we go. We have this. We're just going to reattach it to this new one. Pretty strimple, simple, straightforward. Just hand tighten it again. All right. Hand tighten. They didn't say how hard to hand tighten it. I'm tightening it as somewhat as hard as I can. All right, there we go. We got that in. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Okay, so the water's on. Turn it on all the way. Is it dripping down here? Uh oh. Okay. There you 
go. The water, the toilet bowl is, or the toilet is filling, the tank. Let me wipe this dirty water stuff off here. I don't know if it's dripping down here. I hope not. I hope it's not dripping down here. Okay, this I can still tighten some. And this I can still tighten some. Okay. All right, here you can see it's filling. That water is gross, so let's flush that down. How do we get all the gross stuff out? This thing is like preventing the gross stuff from going in. I think I'm going to have to use the siphon to do it. So I'm going to siphon the water a bunch of times. I'll be back. All right, well, the water's still gross. Anyways, the overfill valve basically is what causes this to fill. You can see how dirty the water is. Let's go ahead and flush it. Let's see it going down. Okay, so it's refilling. You can see how it's filling in there. Right, I don't know how high up I want the bowl. It said this is supposed to be like three inches above this, so this can go way higher actually. So I'm gonna have to adjust that. Oh, why did it stop already? Okay, so I'm gonna have to adjust this to way more. We'll put plus there. And the water fill level can also go higher here. Oops, didn't mean to flush. You can adjust this. I don't know how much extra water we want there, but uh, okay, you can see it actually filled up all the way here. I think I set it too high now. So this adjusts how fast the water fills in the bowl. You can set it lower or higher, okay. Um, Anyways, let's see. I can adjust this quite a bit more. Um, it said like three inches above that, so this does go up. So, shoot, am I gonna have to take it back out in order to do that? I think I am. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the water back off. We're gonna drain it again. This time I have the bucket here, so I'm gonna use that. Anyways, let's shut this off all the way. Now I'm using a lot of water, flushing multiple times. Uh, I get this right. Okay, I'm gonna hold this to let it keep draining all the water out of the tank as much as possible. Maybe I need something to like spray in here to get <laughs> all that brown stuff out. I don't know. Drain this all out. Okay. It's almost done. I mean, you get the idea, right? <laughs> so right now it's just draining the toilet. What I actually, let me drain it into the bucket. Hold on. I'm gonna siphon it more and I'll be back. Okay, so we drain the water again. Let's go ahead and get this bucket. We're gonna drain everything back out. Again, we did turn off this valve, okay? Make sure that's important. All right, we're gonna do this a second time. Let's undo this. Again, it's all hand tightened, so we can just undo it. Oh, we got like fluffy spider webby stuff on my hand. Okay, the water should all drain out of here now. All right, good. Let's go ahead and open this up again. All right, this is gonna release a lot of water. Okay. Again, hand tightened. You can see how easily we can get this off. Okay, get that off again. And then we'll just lift this up, and let the water drain into the bucket. Alright, now I probably need to put you guys on the tripod again to show you how to extend this out. I'll be back. Alright, so let's pull this thing back out. 
All right, so what we're gonna do, we need to extend this one. So what you do is you hold here, and then you twist this, okay? And you can see this thing is extending out as we unscrew this, okay? I'm not sure how high I can have it go. Let's see, is that good enough? Is that near the top? Okay, so this is basically at the top of the toilet already. I don't know if we can get the, let's see if we can get the lid on. Nope, okay. So we're gonna have to adjust it back down. Okay, so hold this again and we're gonna screw it back in a little bit. Let's get this back in here. Okay, it's about there. And let's see if this lid goes on now. Oh, is that backwards? <laughs> Maybe that's why it wasn't going. Okay. Okay, so the lid goes on now. I'm going to see if I can raise it a tiny bit, or maybe it's because it was falling over that it was not working. Let me try again. Okay, so that fits. I'm worried if I raise it more, then it's going to hit. So we're going to leave it there. I'm going to put this thing back on. This is, this thing is a little bit long, so technically I could trim it down to make it a little bit less like weird, but uh, should be fine as long as it's not pinching closed here, okay? And now we're just gonna put that little thing back on, this white ring, okay? Sorry now, I can't see at that, you can't see at that angle, but you get the idea. Screw that on, okay? And tight. Okay, you can see how this thing stays there. Alright. Now we're going to make sure this lid goes on. Perfect. Okay, tighten it all the way. Let's go ahead and put the water thingy back on. I mean, you guys saw this process already. Same thing. We'll get this back in there. Tighten that again. Hand tighten. nice and tight we don't want this dripping but at the same time it's just plastic so you don't want to overdo it and break stuff there we go now we'll just turn the water back on I see water actually kind of dripping here so I don't know I don't know if it's dripping from this. I don't think it's coming out from the top, so I think it's like coming out here, but we'll see. I'll let it go a bit. We'll take it, I'll keep an eye on it and see if it's still leaking. We'll take the cover back off. Oops, I need to keep, oh, I need to keep an eye on the inside of the toilet as well here. Filling up. Okay, I don't know how high we need the water here, um, but we can adjust this if we want, if it's not going high enough. Okay. You can see this thing is spraying the water there. The toilet's already full. So I might have to do another flush just to make sure and test it properly. Okay. So it's filling up. And then as it fills up, it will float this thing up. The fine tune adjustment is, it's a long process, so kind of just mess around with it to find the right levels. Okay, slowly gonna float this thing up. Right. You can 
see it's floating now. The more you fill the water, the stronger the flush will be. So if you don't need it to be that strong, you can actually lower this thing too. There you go, it shut off the water. Let's go ahead and flush once and see what happens. flushed completely. This is filling back up. Again, we only want it to go to this yellow line. So if it goes too high, I'm going to have to lower the amount of water here. So we'll see. It's going to keep flushing here, or the water's going to keep flowing in. Okay. Still filling the bowl. We'll keep an eye on this. If it goes too high, I'm going to have to lower that. I feel like it, like it might be going too high, actually. Alright, so there. The water should already stop here. You can see it's still going, so we're going to lower this a bit here. So I lowered it to there. Technically, this can even go higher if we wanted to. I don't know if we need it to have that much water for a flush, but uh, we'll flush again. You can see how much we lowered this, okay? And you can see now it's at a lower flow rate here. So basically the toilet will fill itself slower, but the tank should actually fill itself faster, so. Basically, once this floaty goes up, it shuts off all the water, so it shuts off that too. Okay, so if you adjust this fill level, it will affect this fill level. So basically, it will fill for longer if you set this higher. So keep that in mind. Right, it's floating now. And you can see, it still has a long way to go. So it might need to go back over a little bit to the right. Or we can have it fill more water. Well, whichever you want. Okay, so you can see it stopped and it's way too low. So we can adjust it a little bit more here. Okay, so it's more like fine-tuned adjustments. Um, I would say do this when you're actually using the bathroom so you don't keep flushing and, and wasting your water. So I'm gonna do that fine-tuned adjustment later. Um, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. This thing is really easy to replace, so if your toilet is having this issue, don't call a plumber, do this yourself. Have a bucket ready, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.